Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I am your host, Chris Torrance. So today, I'm really excited to bring you a review of a brand new game for the Apple II series of computers. And the name of the game is Genius, and it's written by Daniel Liberani. So let's go ahead and we'll fire up the game and we'll play through it. So today I want to do a video review of a brand new game called Genius. And this was written by Danielle Liverani and it's based on a rock opera that he wrote many years ago and he decided to create a new game for the Apple II family of computers based on his rock opera. So in the game you control a little boy named Genius who's found his way to the land of dreams. And in the game, you have to collect all of the toys while avoiding the killer enemies. So, just wanted to give a shout out to Daniel. This is an amazing accomplishment that he was able to actually create a brand new game. Uh, it's all written in assembly language. And as you can tell, it makes use of the mocking board on Apple II computers that have a mocking board. Uh, it works on Apple II Plus, 2E, 2C. Uh, probably the 2GS, I haven't tried it. You can use keyboard and joystick. And so we'll go ahead and we'll just fire it up. If I hit J, yes. All right, so we're in the toy warehouse and this is level one. And the goal is to collect the keys. And as soon as you collect the key, then the door is open. Uh, you have to be a little careful because inside the doors, there's also little bombs. And if you get hit by a bomb, Ah, then you blow up and you lose a life. Okay, so I collected all of the toys and so now I'm going to go on to level two. And each level has the same pattern within the same warehouse. And then once you've completed all ten levels of a warehouse, then you go on to the next one. And there's a total of 80 levels. So there's plenty of action. Oops, there's a... Oh, I died. Ah, oh, sad. All right, so I'm gonna get the key to unlock the next door. And there's a little treasure that I picked up. Okay, so all I have to do is get the last toy and I can go on. So the quicker I finish the level, then the more points I get for that level. And like I said, there's 80 levels. You can actually hit, I believe it's control P to pause the game and actually save and uh, resume it later. And you can turn the sound on and off. You can use joystick or keyboard. Let's see, what else can I say about this game? Uh, once you get to higher levels, there will be little monsters that uh, come out and you have to avoid those. So watch out, those are the killer enemies. And there's also special objects that will appear that let you actually unlock um, all the doors at once or blow up all the bombs. So those are really helpful. So I think Daniel has just done an amazing job with this. And it's, oh, let's see, oh, there's there's a jolly object. Okay, I can get that and blow up all the bombs. Yes, yeah, so this is just a one person operation. He created the whole game from scratch. Sounds like it took him, I don't know, maybe about a year or something like that. It, it's hard to tell, but uh, if you go on his YouTube channel, you can also look at his rock videos. He's a really good electric guitarist, and he writes rock music as well as composes classical music too and plays that. So yeah, if you want to play a brand new Apple game, actually right now if you go on to eBay, there's a uh, few copies that he's made available. So these are actually physical copies with a manual, a uh, disc, and it's all labeled, and those are up for auction right now. Uh, so if you want to have the total old school and get a physical copy, you can go ahead and do that. And yeah, um, oh, let me blow up the bomb here. So... 
I'm on level four now, I'm jamming. So yeah, if you want to play a new game on your old computer, I would strongly recommend going and getting a copy of Genius by Daniel Liverani. And this also, if you ever thought about writing your own game, this definitely provides some encouragement to you that um, even in this day and age, people are still creating brand new content for the Apple II. And so if you have an idea for a game, you should just go ahead and do it. Oh, watch out for the shark. Oh, no. All right. Well, I'm going to go and I'm just going to keep playing this. And thumb, two thumbs up for Genius. Go and get it now. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Wow, look out!